today briefly i'll be talking to you about a group of diseases known as inflammatory bowel diseases uh, inflammatory bowel diseases or ibd as we commonly call it comprises of two major diseases one is crohn's disease and other one is ulcerative colitis i'll be briefly talking on crohn's first so crohn's disease um, is a chronic disease which involve which can involve any part of the digestive tract right from oral cavity down till the anus commonly it involves the small intestines and large intestines there is till date no definitive cause which has been made out why a particular person develops crohn's disease uh, there are some genetic factors involved there are some environmental factors so there is a component of autoimmunity wherein the body cells start fighting against their own tissue in this case of crohn's disease it is uh, the intestines usually the patients will present with common symptoms such as pain abdomen diarrhea which lasts more than 3 weeks weight loss which is unintentional or blood loss which is usually picked up on routine investigations general fatigability generalized weakness and plus the patient will require some form of imaging plain x ray abdomen and a ct abdomen and then they may might require upper gi endoscopy and in most of the cases we will require a colonoscopy and an ioscopy for biopsies so that we can make a pathological diagnosis and proceed with that so depending on patient's symptoms and severity of presentation the pain, they can be managed easily with medical therapy nowadays we have a lot of good new medicines coming in um, which can handle these symptoms to a very large extent in some patients however as per the severity they might require surgical management as well in addition to the medical management and they can have a good quality of life once the disease is under control uh, with medical therapy so in ulcerative colitis usually a patient will present with complaints of recurrent episodes of passing blood in stools now ulcerative colitis um, can be diagnosed basic blood tests like uh, complete blood picture including a hemoglobin we look at some inflammatory markers a stool examination so ulcerative colitis can be easily controlled and managed with the medications nowadays we have very good uh, new medicines which have come up uh, and help us to control uh, these symptoms so so my suggestion will be that in case you have any of those disturbing symptoms or alarming alarm signs as i have mentioned before uh to consult your gastroenterologist so that a timely diagnosis can be made and appropriate action can be taken